Next up to speak against the proposal is Gary Schultz. Good morning, I'm Jerry Schultz. I appreciate this opportunity to speak to you on why this sectarian monument should not do it. It's a monument to a particular religious tradition. And I'm not going to call that tradition Christianity because there will be Christians here for it and Christians here against it. I will say that it is sectarian and it should not be placed on the Capitol grounds. First, the religious motivation here is transparent. Acts 12, 31, the law we're talking about, was drafted to pretend that the Ten Commandments are being presented as part of the secular history of law. That's simply not true. The Ten Commandments are unquestionably religious in nature, and the version set out by the legislature, and there's been some question about this, there are three different versions at least, the Jewish version, the Roman Catholic version, and the Protestant version. This version is a, an amalgamation of all three, which only by some very clever formatting <laughs> manages to remain ten. There are actually 11 or 12 if you count them. Second, this version of the Ten Commandments as prescribed by the General Assembly is, it, it is, if you look at the first four using their version, the first four are so clearly religious that they couldn't even be enforced under our law. They're absolutely religious. I, I'm not going to speak for Christians or Jews or any other religious people. They can all speak for themselves. But I'd also say that Jesus of Nazareth was a secular philosopher as well. He was a moral philosopher, the head of his time and probably ahead of ours. And I think, from my reading of the Christian Gospels, that Jesus of Nazareth would be appalled by this. This monument is clearly designed so that a, what, a perceived majority, and I'm not even sure it's a real majority because I think there are a lot of Christians out there who would be appalled by this as well, a perceived majority can show we, not you, are the top of the, of the rank here. We are number one. And I think that Jesus would, would be offended by this. Further, I'm amazed that Christians are not offended by the very idea that this is somehow a secular set of rules. The Ten Commandments are supposed to be the Word of God. As the preacher said, written by the hand of God on the tablets given to Moses. What are we talking about here? We're talking about something that is religious in nature, not secular. And <coughs> Acts 1231 to the contrary, the Ten Commandments have nothing to say about civil government, limited government, or inalienable rights. Finally, I, I'm a lawyer, and I intend to be one of the lawyers who will file a lawsuit if this monument goes on state capital grounds. I anticipate that we will be successful. I anticipate that, as has been mentioned earlier, I will be awarded fees. I'm here to ask you today not to pay me. I'm here to ask you here, don't give me a great lawsuit that lets me make a bunch of money. Thank you.